Hello everybody. So we're on Nordic Country for another test because again I was intrigued like the propagation grass about this corn porridge or maize porridge. How it works, what happens, blah blah blah. So I thought I'd do a couple of tests. Now I've got three forage harvesters, all exactly the same setup but slightly Com different configurations just to see what happens so if you're not familiar with what is going on on this map we have two modded in forage harvesters these ones on the end you can see the symbol just above them that is the corn porridge symbol and these are the normal in-game harvesters now what I found interesting is if you look at the symbols below we have got we have got the corn porridge symbol on the three standard in-game harvesters if we move over to the modded ones we then get an extra symbol and i'm not sure whether you can see and i can only just about see on a big tv it says raw i'm pretty sure r a w raw underneath the different symbol so that had me a little intrigued as well and then if we go into corn headers is what you want not forage headers to do the corn porridge right at the very end we've got these modded in ones again with the symbol and they also say for corn mash apart from this one at the end i don't know why that doesn't say it and also oddly enough the small one at the end says that is for the bison super which is obviously a normal standard harvester not a forage harvester so again i'm not quite sure about that i haven't tested that but this is mainly about the corn mash or the corn porridge whatever you want to call it so the setups i have got they've all got the corn mash headers on all the same size this hard harvester is the standard in-game harvester because I want to see what happens if we use a corn mash header with it, what happens. The second one is the modded in harvester, but with, and I'll show you, no, that's the wrong one, sorry. So it's this one here, the Kroner modded in one with the standard configuration, because if you look at configuration, which I'm on now, you've got standard or you've got corn mash. I think you know where this is going guys and the third and final forage harvester we've got is it the modded in Krona again but that has got the corn mash configuration on it corn mash header if all got corn mash headers on so let's have a little go and see what happens so we we'll turn on our forage harvester we need to unfold it, this one, pipe out, and then off we go. So that is a little disappointing. So we're not getting anything off of that. It is harvesting the crop, but we are getting zilch off of that. So that is the standard in-game forage harvester but with a corn mash header absolutely nothing off of that which is a shame and it's showing up as being harvested so again jump into the modded in krona but with the standard configuration but with a corn mash header on same again no 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 don't want that sorry i'm not on the right one unfold the harvester pipe out drop that down off we go what is going to happen exactly the same so that is a bit annoying i don't know why that's like that why the standard in-game forage harvesters are showing the corn porridge symbol i'm not sure maybe i'm getting something wrong in my head if someone knows the difference then let me know in the comments right so we've got this so this is like i've showed you 
the modded in forage harvester but we have this one on corn mash configuration with the corn mash header this better work otherwise i'm gonna stop recording <laughs> so pipe out unfold harvester turn it on drop it down off we go yes so success as you can see it says it's filling up with maize or maize brai brai comes out as white sort of substance almost looks like milk pouring in there but that is working and if you can see i'm not sure you can you can just make out it says raw again under that corn porridge symbol which is going into the trailer so again something else i was intrigued about pipe out let's fold that up i'm probably going to drop this header down come on like so because the next thing i wanted to test is can we tip this straight in to feed our pigs now it's saying raw is it saying raw because it needs to be fermented first so that is the wrong menu if we go into animal pens we're just going to get the standard in-game pig enclosure small one as you can see down the bottom with the symbols next to the corn symbol we've got corn porridge but it doesn't say raw it's just a standard symbol for it so we're going to plonk this fella down um, just somewhere like that will do we'll drive over we'll get ourselves some piggy wiggies what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin round so I'm facing the other way because that is a second test or I've lost count actually what tests were done so forget that it's another test let's put some pigs in that will do we've got pigs in there they are starving jump back in there make sure we're on the trailer so we should get the symbol to come up to tip in if we can do it no we can't so the normal corn porridge the raw they will not take now another test I've got I've got a standard small bunker silo just here will this go in there let's turn on the help menu now when we drive in you can see it says fill lab fill level traff chaff I cannot speak today fill level chaff so can we tip into here no we cannot so how do we ferment it and turn it into corn porridge we go back into here and go into silos these are the standard in-game bunker silos if we go right to the end again we've got these modded in ones that say corn porridge on so if we select the medium one for this purposes we'll drop that down like that now hopefully when we drive in it will not say fill level chaff it will say fill level mice bray there we go so we're getting somewhere so if we and now we've got the unload here option if we unload that like so not a huge amount in there but that is absolutely fine i'm going to dump this trailer off here because we need to now compact this like you would a normal silage it does compact quite quick i know we haven't got a lot in there but as you can see it is going up very very fast so that's not going to take very long at all so we get this compacted like so and move that out of the way now if we run up into here we're 100 percent compacted we can now blanket that silo i do like that texture that's quite smart so we are fermenting maize bry ciliate one percent 
So that is obviously going to need to ferment like normal. So I will see you probably next in-game day when it's 100% fermented and we'll go from there. So I will see you very, very shortly. So we're back in the morning. How is our corn porridge getting on? It is 100% fermented, brilliant. So we can now open the silo. It's a very nice sort of yellowy color, looks quite smart. Now you can obviously pick that up however you wish to. Front load of a bucket, telehander, milling machine. Loading wagons do work. So if we go on to loading wagons, and this is the one that you get on this map. As you can see, you've got both the corn porridge symbols there, the raw and the standard. So we're just going to pick a little bit up. I'll turn the help menu off for now. I'm going to start that up, lower the pickup. I just want to pick up enough so we can tip into the pigs. As you can see, we are picking it up like so. I'll just grab a tiny bit more and that will do. Well, let's head over to the pigs. Hopefully, the pigs will take this. Brilliant. So we can now tip that in. The feed trough is filling up. We'll stop that. Check our animal menu. There you go. It goes underneath the corn um, feed bar. We've got a little bit in there. Brilliant. Happy days. So I'm pleased with that. It answered a few questions that I had and I hope it's helped you guys as well. So if you have found it useful, then please give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.